everyone, welcome back to another video where today I wanted to talk a little bit about the brand new Doctor Who at 60 musical celebration that's going to be taking place on the 28th of September. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, the BBC recently announced a kind of Doctor Who musical concert in a very similar vein to the Doctor Who proms all those years ago, but obviously on a smaller scale and taking place in Cardiff as opposed to like the Royal Albert Hall, which is where the proms take place. And a lot of people want to go to this event, myself very much included. And it's got some really cool features which we're going to be getting into. However, I can't help but feel a little bit apprehensive at the way this is all being conducted. And I kind of just wanted to give you my thoughts on this. So before we get into it, if you could do a teeny tiny little favor, if you do enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. I'm making regular content again. I'm really enjoying myself. Also, if you're wondering what's going on in the background, it's just a fan because it's boiling for September. It's mad. Not to mention I've got two lights that kind of illuminate my face. So it's really warm. So yeah, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoy, all that lovely stuff. Thank you so much for the support. We just hit 20,700. We're trying to get to 21,000 by the end of this month. Yeah, any support is always appreciated and I love you a lot. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So here we have on the official BBC website, Doctor Who at 60, a musical celebration. Join the BBC National Orchestra of Wales and the BBC Singers directed by Alistair King as they celebrate the glorious musical sounds of Doctor Who in this special 60th anniversary concert for Radio 2. So yeah, for those of you who perhaps aren't going to the event or are not from like Wales or Cardiff, you'll be able to listen to it, I believe, via BBC Radio 2. And I think some of it might be being filmed, so I don't know whether that'll ever see the light of day. Featuring I Am The Doctor, Abigail Song, This Is Gallifrey, The Impossible Girl, I Am A Good Man, The Shepherd's Boy, and the timeless Doctor Who theme, as brilliantly imagined by composers Murray Gold and Sagan Akinola. There is also a trip back in time to the classic years of Doctor Who, from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, featuring the vintage synthesizers of the BBC Radiophonic Workshop, veterans Mark Ayers and Peter Howell, plus look ahead to the keenly awaited 60th anniversary specials on BBC One later this year. And then it gets even better, because special guests include Russell T Davis, Stephen Moffat, and Chris Chibnall. All three of the modern Doctor Who showrunners in one building at one event. So, it's no wonder that Doctor Who fans in their droves want to go to this event. Myself, very much included in that. But as you can see on this site, there's a couple of little quirks to this. As you can see here, it says random draw open. So as far as I'm aware, the way these events typically work is that they're free to enter. BBC like sort of concerts tend to be free to enter. However, it's mainly done via a raffle. So whoever like gets picked out of the raffle gets a ticket and plus, they actually over give out tickets so that they can have a full house. So even if you get a ticket, it's not necessarily guaranteed that you'll get in. At which point I believe it comes to like a first come first serve kind of basis. At least that's my understanding. If I've got any of that wrong and you guys know better, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But that's the gist. There's a random draw. Some people get tickets. Those of you who do get tickets will have to get there early to make sure you get a seat. That's as far as I'm aware. And personally, I don't love this for this concert in particular. And the reason I don't is because I know that you'll say, oh, well, it's done like this for all BBC orchestra shows, which very well could be the case. I personally don't go to that many. But for Doctor Who in particular, this is a 60th anniversary concert, the type of thing that doesn't happen very often. All three modern showrunners in the same room. Songs from the show's entire history, located smack bang in the middle of Doctor Who's home in Cardiff. I don't feel like you need to over give out tickets to that to make sure you fill the house. Doctor Who fans will fill this capacity. I think it has a capacity of about 300 people. So it just feels odd to me to like over give out tickets for this. And then there's going to be some people who get tickets who maybe are going to travel down to Cardiff to go see this, because let's face it, a lot of Doctor Who fans will want to do that, who might not get there in time to see this. I just don't really love the way that this is being conducted, and I'm not really sure what the better solution would have been. Either lower the amount of tickets you're giving out, so that that way you only have enough tickets to fill out the venue, or just make it a first-come, first-served thing, where the people who get it first are the ones who get tickets. That might be you know, a little bit unfair, but I think this is also kind of unfair. And I feel like it could lead to a very large stampede of people heading towards this event who don't end up having tickets. I could be wrong, and this could all work out fine, but 
I am very cautious of that fact. I personally have put myself down for a ticket, so I'm hoping, beyond all hopes, that I get one, but it's not guaranteed. I also find it somewhat odd that this is an 18 plus event, given that it is Doctor Who, something with a huge child audience. I just kind of wanted to talk about this because ever since it's been announced, I've, I've loved the idea of going to this. I never got to do the Doctor Who prom. I did do, I think, one of the Doctor Who music and monsters or Doctor Who live, I think around 2010, 2011-ish, when I was really young. But I've always wanted to have that experience again. And the idea of seeing all these iconic themes played under one roof with so many of the Doctor Who alumni, that's like a magical thing to me. And it's literally, it's this month, it's the 28th, as far as I'm aware. And the registers for tickets close on the 7th of September. So at the time I release this, you'll probably only have a couple of days to even register to get tickets. And even then, I think by this time, most people who are going to get stuff have probably already registered. But yeah, all of this is to say, this is a really cool event. This is the sort of thing that I've been looking forward to about the 60th, things like this. I just kind of wish that this was being handled in a different way. Again, maybe it can't be. I'm not going to say that I'm an expert on this, but... To me, this just kind of seems to be setting up for a little bit of conflict. I could be wrong. Also worth noting that it mentions a look ahead to the keenly awaited specials on BBC One later this year. So I'm going to assume this just means music, which would be incredibly, incredibly cool. Unless maybe they have something on like a monitor akin to what they did at the BBC proms. But even if it's just music, that would be incredibly cool that we're going to be seeing new 60th music at this concert, which is just more reason for fans to want to go. I also do find it very funny, though, that whilst they've listed both Murray Gold and Sagan and Akinola, as composers for this event, they only list Murray Gold tracks, which seems a little bit odd. I guess it's because they're the iconic ones. But yeah, I just find that pretty funny. Also, BBC, if you're watching this and you see my name flash up as one of the contestants for these tickets, just because I've made this video, please don't discount me from the running. I don't think you will anyway, but thanks. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later.